Every week we bring you stories of athletes who inspire us. Andrew Esquivel from Natomas High School is passionate about sports, especially football and wrestling. And Andrew does not let an intellectual disability curb his unwavering drive to succeed at the sport he loves. The passion Andrew Esquivel has for sports, many say, is unmatched. You get better every day, every time you lose or win. Whether it's on the wrestling mat or the football field, Andrew's strong work ethic inspires others, especially his younger brother, Matthew. Andrew's always been a very athletic. He's always been somebody who loves to do sports. More, He does it. He. I don't know how he does it. In my, in my opinion, I don't know how he's able to do so much sports at once. But he loves doing sports, especially football. He loves the game of football. Wrestling made me do my do better and don't don't do easy with them and do hard for them. Football is the same thing, more tradition and wrestling more tradition, more hard work for wrestling. Andrew was diagnosed with an intellectual disability. He also has a speech impediment. Head on the body. Kind of came to me and said, Coach, I want to wrestle. I said, absolutely. I will take any kid who wants to wrestle. The best part about wrestling is, is it can be for anybody. It doesn't matter who you are, what size you are, your disability. You can learn how to wrestle and, and actually learn to succeed um, with it and get something out of it, which is the most amazing thing. Andrew joined the Natomas wrestling team his sophomore year. It was a big milestone because just the year before, Andrew was in a wheelchair and leg braces because growing up, Andrew's legs didn't set right. His feet turned outwards. It needed to be corrected. And um, every time I wear a test or brace, I said, I feel sorry, Andrew, man, a lot of emotion I would never feel my whole life. It was a grueling process for Andrew, but since his very first match, Andrew has not stopped improving. He's overcoming a lot, um, and as he overcomes these things, he's starting to realize, like, if I put in the effort, I put in the energy, it doesn't matter who I am or, you know, how I look or the, what disability I have, I can do anything, um, and he fully believes it, and I think he's going to when he grows up. The stuff he learns in this wrestling room, and every kid learns in the wrestling room, it's going to make them a better person overall in life. Um, and all I hope is that he got something out of this, and I, I know he did, um, and that he remembers this moving forward, like what he learned here. He loves to always be the first one out, and he loves to be the last one. He likes to work hard. The wrestling season has been a way better season than his, fresh, his, uh, his sophomore year. He has, he has worked so hard to be here and to be where he's at now. Just like most relationships between siblings, Matthew and Andrew learn from each other while growing together. I learn to try harder. I look at him, um, I look at him and I was like, I have to go the hardest I can go. And I have to be the best I can be. Cause everything I do affects him too. I did better every time me him whistle a womb or do dumb stuff. <laughs> I always see him giving his best, trying his hardest. And I love seeing that from him. Because sometimes when I'm tired and stuff, he comes just out of nowhere and tells me to pick my head up and just keep going. He just pushes me to be the best person I can be. Andrew Esquivel has many people in his corner. Win or lose, Andrew learns how to grapple with the complexities of life. Lessons that will aid him far beyond the mat. One, two, three, family! Andrew finished his senior season a couple weeks ago. His coaches and brother Matthew say he has improved tremendously since his sophomore year and knows the lessons he learned on the mat will help him in the rest of his life. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. So I'll bring